Warning! May cause seizures, also motion sickness, tons of crude language, pixelated violence and murder, sexual content, blasphemy, my goodness, this is like Satan the video game, this sounds amazing. Greetings and welcome everyone to Super Electronic Joy. Super Electronic Joy is a platformer where you will most likely die a lot. Like a bloody lot. This game is incredibly challenging and it is not at all like polite at all. It's just like, hey, what's up? I'm going to kill you. And you're like, whoa, I didn't even get to have a say in this. And it's like, I don't care. I'm going to kill you. And then, and th and then it kills you. Look at, look at that. Just finished talking about how it's going to kill you. It kills me. It's quite rude. Didn't even let me get to finish about, finish like talking about how it's going to kill you. Just, just like, no, no senses for you, Raven Val 95. Only death. So thank you, Mr. Game. I, I really appreciate that. But anyway, uh, this game is in, currently in Steam Early Access and it is, I assume, going to become even more challenging as it progresses on in development and it's going to be a ton more content and all that. But that's not what we're really here to talk about. What we're really here to talk about is how, oh my god, this is like amazing and annoying and oh my god, I am in love and I couldn't be more pissed off about it. Basically, it, it's a puzzle, it's a, not puzzle platformer, sorry, it's a platformer where you just go about trying to beat the level. It's a really difficult platform and oh my god, I haven't been this challenge like since, since like Super Meat Boy or Bit Trip Run, like it's, it's part of that game, it's, it's part of that genre of games where it's really, really, really tough, but it's not like like a uh, Cat Mario or anything like that, or a or a Kaizo Mario or anything like that, where it's like impossibly, frustratingly hard. Like this isn't this isn't like an impossible game. No, this isn't. Well, I'm trying to say like it's an easy game, but that's like completely wrong. It's not a punishing game, I suppose we could say. It doesn't really punish you that much at all. Like, if I die, I'll just, you know, do a little teleport beam up into the sky and then come back to life, and then... and then I'm back and ready to go. That's it. Uh, and... Like, there's no real punishment here for dying. It does It's not aggravating at all. So even though you will die a lot like that, it doesn't really piss you off because, well, it really doesn't need to. Because, I mean... Well, oh no, I missed going into the Dreamcast symbol. I, I can just do it again. Look at that. See, I went in the Dreamcast symbol. Like, it doesn't punish you too much at all. Like, like a two second long animation. That's it. Oh, it's, so it's part of that. And it, it's just, there's so much to try and talk about because this game is amazing. Uh, it's got, it's got great control. So it's like Super Meat Boy in that regard. And it also just, it just plays right. It's, it's that sort of hard to describe feeling of just, I'm just feeling right. It's a really good game, and as you progress through the game, they will teach you more about more. There are more and more little like, um, air, oh my god, it's fucking limbo on LSD. What the fuck? <laughs> oh dear, this is uh, oh this is not okay. Right. Um. Yeah. So as far as the basic controls go, you use the arrow keys for movement and you use the Z button for jumping. That. Um, I think that's it, yeah. Oh, actually, no. We've got the X button as well, so if we ever encounter any enemies and we need to squish them, we just jump and then we can press X and then we can just slam into the ground. Now, this is sort of also, I suppose, I'm tempted to call it a rhythm game, but it's not really, but it just has a lot of really high, high upbeat music that is super awesome to listen to. If you've played Super Hexagon and you've listened to the music in that, then it, it, it's a lot like the music in that game. How it's the, it's that sort of music that plays along with your with your with the gameplay, and it, it's really fast paced, and so is the game. Although the auto scrolling may be a bit too slow, although I uh, I'm sure there's like probably some sort of uh, difficulty where that's even faster. Maybe later on in the levels it'll be quicker or something like that, and this is just for the early levels. But even right now it's mostly fine. Um, oops, <laughs> I just like slid off there. Uh, so, so uh, if you look at the art style, it's a very pixelated art style. It's nothing amazing. It's not like high poly or anything like that. There's no 3D renders here. And normally, this is because the game, the game artists aren't exactly the most proficient at their craft. But I think this isn't um, this isn't an this is not an art style that was made out of limitation, but because of actual gameplay reasons. Because if you look at how busy the game is, how much you have to be precise, and all of this, 
you sort of need this simplistic art style to see what's going on. There's no like anti-aliasing going on here, there's no other fancy words, it's just you and a bunch of platforms and you needing to kick those platforms ass. Figuratively of course, not really because that would be dumb and that's not at all how you, uh, how you are supposed to progress in a platformer. Alright, let's just jump into the Dreamcast symbol, there we go. And it's like, oh my god. It's just, it's so pure in terms of gameplay, like it is perfect. Maybe not perfect, okay, that is, that is of course an exaggeration, no, nothing is perfect. Except for of course, like, Cranky Cat. But this game is probably pretty close to it, in terms for the platformer that's like, sort of like incredibly difficult. Because, look at it! It just, it's so hard to describe, but it just controls wonderfully. That is the, really the main thing. Everything just, uh, everything about this game just feels right. Like, maybe my only problem, maybe, is that um, they could maybe shorten down the the uh, animation for when you respawn. Instead of it playing an animation, you just quickly respawn instead. So instead of it playing an animation at all, just skip it. And you're like straight back. Instead of that, just like j instead of like him going teleporting back to his home planet, like just instead of that, just fades directly to white and done. Back in action. I would much prefer that. And oh, there we go. See, so because in those deaths, which you will have a lot, it does sort of add up over time. So I suppose maybe that is like the only thing that I could maybe criticize this game on. Aside from that, oh my god, this is fucking insane. It's got like everything. It's got, you want stars? It's got stars. You want the Dreamcast symbol that teleports you into different places? It's got that. You want weird sort of checkpoint noises that sort of sound like porn stars? Oh. It's got that as well, surprisingly enough. Um, if you don't want that as well, I think the developer said he's working on something like making it a ping noise, so it's like, ping, you, you respawned instead. So that's fine as well, I suppose. Ah, damn it, I can never win this, uh, win this section. Um, so, oh my god, it just, yeah, and it's, it's one of those sorts of challenging platformers that also just, it's just not, it's not punishing, and I love it for that. Oh, I died there. <laughs> it doesn't punish you. It's... I would put this in the same league as I would Super Meat Boy or Bit Trip Runner or, or those sorts of games where where it's really, really, oh my god, tough. But you're like, I want to continue playing. I want to beat this game. I love this game. Like, recently I finished... I've been on this real, like, sort of... Tr like... Like, I don't know what you'd call it, but I've been recently playing Bit Trip Runner and Super Meat Boy and those sorts of difficult games a lot because I've just sort of been wanting something that's a bit more challenging. And oh my god, after finishing Bit Trip Runner and Super Meat Boy, this is exactly what I've been wanting and I didn't even know it, it existed. And it's just. Ah, oh, it is real. And I don't even know what the hell this section is. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> um. So yeah, this is exactly sort of what I've been wanting. This is, like, if you've ever wanted like a challenging platformer game and you've already finished Super Meat Boy and Big Trip Runner like I have, that oh my god, this, oh my god, <laughs> this is a good game. Like, uh, at first glance, I sort of just like, eh, maybe not because of the art style, but oh my god, everything has a purpose in this game. It was like, it's like all intentional. It's so great to see like stuff that's not just randomly thrown in all willy-nilly because hey that looks kind of pretty. No, like everything in this has sort of that planned feeling to it. So like in Bit Trip Runner, when you played that game, you could you would always play in the same exact section no matter what because you couldn't control your movement. So you could sort of always had to do the exact same thing in the exact same pattern and the exact same rhythm. This does the exact sort of pretty much the same thing but allowing you to move, and it's, oh my goodness, it is so brilliant how it works. It's like, it allows that freedom of movement of like Super Meat Boy or any platformer really, but it also allows for that sort of same rhythm that Bit Trip Runner provides, and it's like, oh my god, this is, this is like, amazing, and so let's just go back to the main menu. Let's check out like the options and stuff like that. There's really not that much. You got your timer, you get your music, you got sound effects, and and there's a launcher for it, but that provide that provides resolution options and nothing else. Um, there's one graphical quality setting thing, and it's normal, so that's all you can get really. 
Um, it's got achievements if you're into achievements, I suppose, and that's pretty much it. So, in summary, Super Electronic Joy is a shocking good time. Thank you for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed my first impressions of Super Electronic Joy. You can purchase this game right now on Early Access for like $5 Australian and whatever your currency equivalent to that is, so on that note, GG.